Hello everyone, welcome to part four of uh, uh, this mini series about project closeout. And I'm gonna talk now about administrative closeout. In other words, um, the paperwork. So when a project is closed, okay, we need to do a couple of things to make sure that all the documents are correctly done. Okay, so obviously we have to go through the stakeholder acceptance, which I already described in another video. We have to go through the transit of business, which I already described in another video. We have to do the lessons learned, which I described in my previous video. And finally, okay, we're gonna have to also create all the necessary documents that were generated through this and store them. So there is two main things here. There is a project administrative closeout, okay, where, for example, you're gonna make sure that um, all the contractors are closed or all the contracts you currently have running are closed, if you have any. Uh, any system or accounts that you used are closed. Again, if any, sometimes you don't have any of this. You release the, the remaining resources or you terminate them, for example, closure of bank accounts that you open on purpose for the project and obviously that all the documentation had been completed and that can be now archived in the proper manner so this release of resources means that you might have to release certain things that you still have at the end of the project and you're not going to need okay so you're going to have to release funds uh, to the finance or to the buyers depending on the situation and you're going to have to release your human resources and here what can happen well they might be transferred to the business unit if the project is going to integrate the, um, the business itself and therefore they are the ones they're going to manage it or they might transfer back to back to their old jobs or back to their functional department uh, their contracts might be terminated some team members are only hired during the length of the project or they might be transfer transferred to another project in terms of release of physical assets there's a couple of options as well you might reassign those physical assets to another project or another department you might return them to a customer or to a supplier you might dispose of them recycle them or sell them at the end of the project now, in terms of archiving your documentation results, you need to follow what your organization or the industry policies are. And each report needs to have a purpose and an audience. So regarding the purpose, you need to understand that every report needs to have, you know, the report status, what documented the decisions and all the results on it. And regarding establishing the audience, you have to understand uh, who's going to be the people reading it, who approves, who maintains and so on, so that you can transfer those documents to the right person. Historical records need to be archived, therefore, so that in the future, a new project manager can have access to all the information about previous projects. And this can be done by type of media, uh, by location, uh, and then content. Okay, for example, you might decide that you have a physical asset or you might decide that you have a digital archive. And that digital archive, is it going to be on a hard drive, for example, or is it going to be in a cloud system? So this is all decisions that need to be made and need to be aware to the project manager at the end of the project so that he knows what are the processes to submit all the documents. So as you can see at the administrative closeout, it is important because it will make sure to register and archive all the documents we created throughout the entire process of our project manager, uh, project management. And this can be thousands and thousands of different documents depending on the project. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next video of this mini series.